Hey, howdy everyone. Lost Leader here, finally actually getting things done. And I am no longer sick, and I was sick before. That why That is why there is no YouTube video, uh, or vlog update rather, for the 12th week, I want to say, 12th or 11th week. I, I'll, I'll figure that out in particular. I really don't remember. Suffice to say, I really hate getting sick. And I really, really do not like that the sickness that I got recently was more attached to my acute bronchitis than um, any other sickness I had before. And while that doesn't usually worry me so much, acute bronchitis was a very serious threat to not only my career that I want to pursue, but my actual health. And um, as of right now, because of acute bronchitis and because of uh, certain things that happen with my body and whatnot, I am no longer able to drink soda. I, I can't eat a lot of salt. Um, and just basically my whole entire diet has changed because of that. But I do want to say that when I get sick, I get some weird symptoms. And I'm not sure if anyone else gets these kind of weird symptoms and whatnot. But for me personally, uh, basically... Um, when I get sick, my hair does not dry, and time slows down for me. It's really, really weird, but I could tell tell what I have based on that, if I'm sick or not. And it's, like, not just the voice thing, although I'm sure the voice is still very much shot, but at the very least, when it comes to, like, talking and whatnot, I can talk. I, I was able to talk throughout the rest of this week and whatnot. Um, not very well until the past two days, but at the very least, um, I was not nearly as bad as I was before, and that's why there's no new video up, or rather an older video up, of me talking about transitioning and whatnot, because I was so bloody sick, and I was sick, and I had to miss two days of work just to recover, I went to work the next day, I got better, thankfully, at work, and I still need to, like, make sure to keep up on it and make sure I'm not like dying still it's a very unfortunate thing getting sick and i always hate it and what else can you say except for just you're sick you can't do anything else and i was like i could try to put a video up i should could try to do that but honestly my health is more important getting done with these little small bits of information is important too and like i said before one thing i always and totally will hate about youtube I had to put up details about things. Doesn't matter if I'm sick or not. I gotta put up details. So it gets really annoying really fast when you're sick and you're like, I can't, I don't want to do this. I want to rest. I want to rest and just do that. But this is partly to blame on my fault because I didn't, you know, put up those details sooner. And uh, it's kind of one of those things where I go back and forth on it, whether I'm really good on the detail bit or I'm not. And with these past few sicknesses and whatnot and just catching up, I haven't really been able to do that, and it's really, really sucky. But with um, the next few weeks that are coming on by, I think things are going to be a lot easier for me in comparison. Um, uh, just so you all know, people that do watch um, my other YouTube stuff and whatnot, um, as soon as the last Crash Bandicoot video hits, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday will not have a second video. That's not going to happen. I am not able to do that. I wish I could because I have plenty of content where I could do that for at least, I want to say a whole year where I could do it like that. But for my sanity and and health, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to uh, put up any more videos aside from that. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, I'm probably going to make it more of a, just a stream thing, like just taking parts of like older streams and putting them on for that particular day. Um, but for the most part, we're, we're going to go that route. That way I could concentrate on actually making better content and whatnot for this channel. And I mean, aside from that, that's what was all last week, what I decided and everything. Um, not very great, very unfortunate, but it's like, whatever. At the very least, I am better now. As for uh, this week in particular... Um, what's, what's been happening with me lately. Um, I just was able to talk to my therapist about it. And, uh, he was saying that I should call the, the people that like, um, my endocrinologist again and make sure I could figure out how I get rid of these patches and get pills because 
yeah, still not working out, still not doing great. I, I don't like it, but everything else is fine in particular for my mental health and whatnot and all all the other jazzes. It, it's, it's going fine. Um, but there is a slight problem with things, and it's the fact that I don't feel like I've gotten like more feminine and whatnot and admittedly enough a lot of the stuff that I have right now, like the the, whole, the long hair and whatnot, is stuff that I have beforehand. So it's more of a matter of I don't really know what um, when this is all coming back. If the patches that I'm I'm using, I'm getting, uh, they're actually like being used, or am I not getting enough and whatnot? And it's actually becoming kind of a problem that may um, ruin things ahead of time like go faster and fast forward and i could have some problems down the line because of that so this is the main reason why i want to switch from patches to pills because i don't feel like i'm getting consistent amount of estrogen that's flowing through me or at the very least it doesn't feel like i'm changing as fast as i should quote unquote which admittedly enough i mean puberty because it's puberty that's that's what i'm in um Again, I'm jump starting it. Um, that doesn't happen right away. It's not an instantaneous thing, but I feel like it should be going a little bit faster than what it has been going. So I'm really just a bit worried about it, more so for stability purposes um, than just anything else. Like, I'm not like, well, haven't they changed yet? Because, like, I'm not going to go that fast. It's not. That's not going to happen. But it definitely feels to me like there should be a bit more change than what there is if ever so slightly, just like a little, little bit or something like that, because it doesn't feel to me like I'm getting like a, a consistent amount of doshas here. And that's the thing that worries me the most um, by and large and why the patches are a bit of a problem, which in all honesty to me, um, I don't mind the patches necessarily, but it's because I sweat so much and because um, it requires some prep work and whatnot. And you can't do things like go swimming and whatnot and all these other little things that I kind of want to do. And then I have to worry about it because it's extra late for a patch on. And I know I said this time and time and time again. I swear this is just getting to the whole entire like, I don't like estradiol patches because they do not stick <laughs> vlog. But that's kind of the only real big thing that I have to deal with and whatnot. And... I mean, admittedly enough, there's some other things that I should, like, be looking into and whatnot, like starting to get clothes and um, starting to actually progress forward throughout things and whatnot. But it's just not a main concern for me right now because I just, I look the same of, of who I am and whatnot, and it just doesn't feel like I need to worry about it yet. And it's definitely a money issue that's going to happen later on down the road, but again, it's one of those things where just I feel like I should have some fill before I start actually start like going out and doing it. Um, I don't need to necessarily, but it's just like, I'm the kind of person that's like, I mean, if I'm going to change and whatnot, if I'm going to progress further and further, I rather do it to where I have clothes properly and I have uh, my figure like, like properly and whatnot, just enough to like not waste money. And I know that's really weird to a lot of people, but a big part of like a lot of my reasoning is does this waste money? Does this waste time? Does this waste energy? What does it waste? What can I do to improve it and um, be more efficient about it? I know that sounds a bit weird because a lot of the things that I do, um, not necessarily always fitting that role to a degree. Like sometimes I'll go out of the way, um, make it certain things on videos and whatnot and putting things down and putting a bunch of little edits and whatnot. For some videos that just take up way too much time and very little people are going to watch that video because it's a super obscure video um, of a video game in particular. And it just, it doesn't really matter in the long run um, when it comes to people watching it and whatnot. But it's just these ideas that I get in my head and whatnot that I kind of like, I want to do this now. I want, want, want to get that through. But it's really hard to stay um, when I'm editing and whatnot, what's a waste and what's not a waste because I know at least somebody's going to watch it. And if I could make someone's day brighter just by doing that little edit or something like that, I'll definitely do it. That's that's something that's like very fun to me and very, very interesting. And I've been trying to be more efficient with my edits and more 
like how do I want to like do deaths and whatnot because sometimes I will die a lot and I'll die often in a video game. So I've kind of adapted this sort of uh, strategy of just like the way that I edit and whatnot. And I just, I like it in particular because it's like still getting a lot of the, the, the kills and, and whatnot, but it's not nearly as prompt and as, as like annoyingly long as it used to be. Like there's this progress throughout the whole entire thing while I'm dying and whatnot. And this is probably something that only I'm like really, really excited about because it's just like, I found out time efficiency for some edits and it's like, woo. But that's kind of what I've been doing and whatnot. Um, yeah, like seriously, like that's all I really kind of do nowadays. And I sound, it sounds kind of weird and stupid, but I'm looking forward to like helping get more people into this kind of like streaming and recording business and whatnot. I have a friend upcoming that well, we might do some records on and whatnot because his time is incredibly different and I would love to do that with him. And I just, I like playing games. I honestly and truly do. Like maybe if I kind of quit this business and whatnot, it will just be me uploading videos of me and my friends and whatnot without any edits whatsoever. Um, if I didn't go, go in this as hard as I am, but I, it just, it's one of those weird things where just like, I, I found this fun little passion thing and I could do it over and over again. And I have the equipment and I have everything to do and whatnot. And, um, it also combines the fact that I could play a bunch of games that I've never played before with them and whatnot. And it just, it feels exciting and invigorating, invigorating again to like actually go do that. And I just, something that I love and I like, and I just, like, I swear to you, it's a super, super roller coaster when it comes to this YouTube game and, and editing and, and playing games and whatnot. Sometimes you just go into it and you're like, this is the worst feeling ever. I hate this so much. Why am I even doing this? I'm not getting any views. No one's watching me. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And then there's times where just like, oh my god, I could do this, I could do that, and I could do this, and I could have all these projects like lined up and whatnot, and I could get this thing recorded, and I could get that recorded with my friend, and then it just, it's just a bunch of things popping up, and just like, it's those highs and those lows that just, they both hit so hard, and they hit so often and so fast, and I don't want to create any kind of bipolarism or anything like that, it's just, it's a weird sort of thing though. It's a weird effect this thing has, and I, I just don't see how anybody else could like really do this without actually wanting to do it, because you're gonna get a lot of those days, and I get a lot of those days where I'm just like, I hate this so much, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, but today I'm like super like positive and happy and excited for it, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I could talk. Maybe it's because I could actually like like put these things up and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> this is. This is the large majority of um, me thinking all last week and, and this week of what I can can do to help improve my health, improve everything uh, for myself and improve making videos and whatnot. And it's just everything comes at you fast and at once and just like I can't keep making these videos and expecting my health to be good or expecting me to like do other videos and whatnot. I need to start utterly just going like I stop here or I stop here or I stop here and I either work on something else or relax or do something in between because um, the way that I had it for the past two weeks, um, not necessarily the best uh, for sure. It's nothing dangerous or anything. It's just if I do it that way, if I keep making videos at this progressive rate without any help whatsoever, I'm not going to have as much fun with it as I am going to be. And it's just a necessary step that I have to take. And I'm well aware of it. And it's not like those Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday slots will be gone forever. The second slots or whatever. Or if I can't get back onto it or various other things like that. It's just I need to start taking time for myself. I need to start adjusting with things and making sure that this thing is not the only thing that I have. And I think that's kind of the problem when you make the YouTube business and whatnot, the only thing you have, the only thing you're working on, because you need to take a break from it. You need to get away from your computer. You need to get a, away from, like, doing stuff like that, recording games and, and, and playing games and whatnot. And even then, I'll, I'll play a game to chill out. I will do that, but 
not always, and it's definitely more fleeting than it used to be, but, you know, I'm trying to find that proper balance, and I'm trying to make sure that this is all going all well and fine and dandy like Rare Candy, but it's a struggle, most definitely, but it's definitely one that I feel I'm getting a better and better grip on as I go along. So, yeah. Eek.